After 11 events of the McDolphin Team Cup in 2022, we are deposited here, the run race, the season finale of the third season of the McDolphin Team Cup here in 2022. I am Zach McDolphin, as always, your host. See, these 12, 16 teams battling over what positions they can in the championship. Of course, Marine Team, the blue team you see, uh, closer to the podium, in fact, next to the podium, directly in front of the podium, they have already locked in the championship. But six teams, Electric Heels, Green Teleport, and the BD Swords and Discord, as well as Icy Blasts and the Carnival Crew, they can all still finish on the overall podium, while the battle to try and avoid the bottom four, more than two, sorry, one is what's going to the pre-qualifiers, currently being tail-ended by occupying the Colgate Club, but everyone from Cool Chameleons in 7th downwards can finish 15th and Colgate Club can get as maximum of the 14th place, but they can avoid being automatically sent to the pre-qualifiers. A lot to play for in this event, because we saw it in the B-League, uh, quite a long race actually, about a minute and a half long, or half, half a minute long, down these four funnels as well as other track features, which will not have passing in, but will be very interesting in testing the skill of these marbles. Of course, seen it as the finale past two seasons already, and we'll see it again today. Teams then getting ready, they've got one member each ready to go, and we're seeing them down on the course very shortly. Before we actually get into the race of them, here are our heats, just briefly with the individuals competing. You'll notice there's some interesting calls there. Cool Chameleon is probably the first interesting one, really, with uh, Rainbow Riding instead of Colourful, who did this about last season, and got fourth. With Rainbow in training seems to be doing quite a lot, a good job in this event, so they decided to put them in here, in Colourful elsewhere. Also, Colga Club put Aquafresh in, mostly because Listerine's done too many events already. Could be a very interesting event, then. Getting on with our first heat now. So then our first heat has got Marine Team, our guaranteed champions, was Green Turtles and Icy Blasts, both fighting for podium position, Green Turtles trying to retain it, of course, top three, as well as this season, the host for the first time, will be the auto-qualifying teams. We've got Cool Chameleons, as well as Ladybirds, Cream Team, uh, the Seahorses, and the Octopi at the back there with Squidgy. They really need to get a good result here. They got their first medal last time. We're still in the bottom three. They're away. All the way. Octopi quite slow into the funnel, actually. It's like, right now, the way position the Ice Blast. Those are the Ladybirds of the lead. Actually, Ice Blast push out very far. The Ladybirds with the lead. Octopi have gone to second. And they make a nice bump there on the Ladybirds' reserve. Green Team getting involved. Cool Chameleons are part of it. Then we've got Green Turtles like this. But it will be Green Turtles who hold the Green Turtles. Ladybirds who hold the lead. Green Turtles still in the battle right now. Icy Blast actually getting them in last. Let's see. Green Team trying to get involved. Cool Chameleons might be able to hold on. No. Green Team will take away second just barely. Ladybirds right now look to be advancing. Green Turtles and Octopi are chasing that final advantage spot. Ladybirds, look at the team, sorry, right. Ladybirds are through. Who will be occupied, will be eliminated by the Green Turtles. Green Turtles are through to the final, and that's key. Marine Team, not going to have a good event here. Nor the Icy Blast, that could be the end for the Icy Blast hopes of order qualifying. They did need a very good result here. But it'll be the Ladybirds, Cool Chameleons, Green Team, and Green Turtles advancing. Green Turtles, the only of the podium contenders who do, who do will make it through. Now, have Electric Heels, they clinched the championship in this event last year, despite only getting ninth. They are currently second overall. Speedy Sloth trying to snatch an overall podium spot for the third year running. And Carnival Crew, outside contender, as well as the Fritzes, the Parrots, Green Jungle, last year's gold medalist in this event. Uh, then Team McDolphin, season four's gold medalist and silver medalist last year. And finally, the Colgate Club, desperately trying to just not be eliminated. They need a miracle not to, to be fair. And they're away. All quite quick into this first final. Who will be in the lead? It's looking like it's the Fritzes, actually. Fritzes will lead right now. They're trying to maybe get themselves not on the podium there. Oh, you know, Electric Eels are battling with them. But he's lost Carnival Crew and Electric Eels are all in there. Team McDolphin doesn't try and get involved. Oh, they've got a great move there in seconds. So Electric Eels take the lead. Fritzes will fall into third. Oh, they make a nice bump there on the Electric Eels. Team McDolphin, though, might have taken the lead. And they have, they're in 14th right now, they need to give results. Oh, no, they haven't. I thought they got stuck for a second. Then it's Fritz and Electric Heels. Colgate Club in the final, and they stop. They have three by Carnival Crew. It's going to ask Speedy Sloth to maybe get involved. 
Right, right. Paradise Green, Jungle Slug, Team of Dolphin, and Fritz the Throat. As well as Fuse, and Carnival Crew take the final advancement spot. Speedy Sloths, right there. With Legend Fuse advancing, Green Turtle also advances. That's all the end of their podium contention. Carnival Crew, the final advancing. They could maybe try and snatch fourth place in the standings, although whether that'll be auto qualification relies on who's chosen as host. Team of Dolphin, Fritz, and Electric Heels, Carnival Crew are advancing teams. Cogger Club just miss out. So then, as we approach the final, we can confirm. The, the bottom two are locked into the Octopi and Cogger Club, and they will be in the pre-qualifiers next season. The battle for second place is still in between Electric Heels and Green Turtles. Both are in the final. Three points separating them. They're guaranteed to be on the podium now. Carnival Crew can get as high as fourth, which is going to be an interesting one, I think. An interesting battle. All many positions, though, still very much up for grabs. So, I don't think we should get, you should get excited to see this final. And so, the final, the Ladybirds. Team McDolphin, for... Uh, Corkamibians, Fritzes, uh, as well as who else is in the final? Uh, this is embarrassing to be honest. Um, we've also got the cream team, the electric heels, the green turtles, and finally the carnival crew. Sorry about that. Battle of second, electric heels and green turtles. I think the one you want to watch most. But if your team's here or not here, uh, some of the other teams you can affect them here. They're all men. And who's gonna have a lead? Fritz is looking at a good position. And now Cookamillions are, in fact, the team of Dolphin are the lead. Team of Dolphin lead, Cookamillions for a second. Fritz is in third, Ladybird's fourth, Electric Eels in fifth, and the Green Turtle like a bump on them. They're all bumping each other, the team of Dolphin have got a comfortable lead. Fritz is against Dolphin in second. Uh, they're actually, you know, Fritz, that's, um, Cookamillions, alright. The Electric Eels still holding over the Green Turtle right now. They're standing. They will hold on to the podium. Come for it last. Team Dolphin are about to finish, and he is dominant performance. And Phoebe is definitely going to win that second goal of the season. For Camille to take him first, the Ladybirds and Fritz are going to get getting involved. Green Turtle take a podium, that could be massive for the podium. And for Camille to get silver. One goes to Fritz's. In comes the Green Turtle for fourth. Now the Ladybirds. Electric Hughes will take six. Free team will beat the Carnival Crew to the seventh place. And I think, with that, Electric Hughes will just about hold on. Twelve points to the Green Turtles. Compared to 10 of the Electric Heels, and I think that is by one point the Electric Heels will hold on to second place overall. One more position, I believe, for the Green Turtles would have been enough, but it wasn't. And the Electric Heels will hold on to second in the overall standings. Meanwhile, Team McDolphin and Phoebe, second gold of the season, second gold in the run race. A um, brilliant performance there. Also, Cool Chameleons, that's their third silver, I believe, of the season. A very strong performance the whole way through by that team. And Fritz's, with Fritzy gets that at first individual runs. And the first bronze of the Fritz's careers as well. Very interesting time to get down to the event podium. So here we have it then. Phoebe from Team McDolphin. For I believe the fourth time in their MTC career. Is a gold medalist. Sorry for that. Is that actually that? Um, that means they are officially the record holder for MTC gold. I believe Sid Wiggy was previously tied with them for three. And that is a very impressive achievement. Rainbow, that's the first time they sat on an MTC individual podium. So on a team podium before, and comes off a great season for the Cool Chameleons. Meanwhile, the Fritz 2 have also had a strong performance this season, and they came into the event 8th, looking, and we're unlikely they will pass anyone, because they were quite a way out from really getting into the top 6 battle, but Cool Chameleons could maybe get involved, I see that had a poor result, and um, Cool Carnival Crew might not even be impossible. Meanwhile, of course, Fritz says they might not be able to get anything. They could possibly, but I think it's unlikely. They've had a strong season, though. Three medals is their best performance so far. And they're going to be quite pleased, I think, with a strong MTC 2022. Of course, Marine Team, we already know, are the champions. And Electric Heels, by one point, will beat the Green Turtles to second. But all three of those teams will be auto-qualifying, as well as, for the first time, our MTC host. Of course, could be from our upper pack, could be from the mid pack as well. Although, we can say it will not be one of the bottom two teams. Cogley Club and Octopi. Who will be automatically into the pre qualifiers? Well, they will be not automatically relegated. They will be in the pre qualifiers for next season, as well as third to eighth from the B League, while the top two from the B League go straight to the main qualifiers, along with whoever the, the host isn't the host from fourth down to down to twelfth, not no, 14th, in fact. They will be the teams in the qualifiers, and finally, uh, the top three and hosts will be auto qualifying. So, time then. For the closing ceremony, thank you everyone for watching MTC 2022, and we'll be, I'll be back with you just at the end 
to have a quick overview of all the final standings and to, to, for the host reveal. And that, thank you for watching. Enjoy the closing ceremony. And so then, Marine Team do become our first ever two-time MTC champion here in 2022. And actually, our former champions runners-up is a very good championship defence, even if they do end up a long way back from the dominant Marine Team. And Green Turtles, on their return after failing to qualify that season, have a brilliant third place. Speed is lost, taking fourth place. It's going to end up having to be pivotal over the Carnival Crew, because... Fourth place will once again be in order to qualifying position as Green Turtles will be the first ever McDolphin Team Cup host. Meaning in third place, of course, that means that the final auto qualification spot will slide down to the speedy slots in fourth. I meaning it will be these four we see here on camera who will be competing in next season's friendly round and not in the qualifiers. From the qualifiers, the Carnival Crew down to the Parrots will all be in there. While Octopi and Colgate Club will have to fight through the pre-qualifiers after a poor season for both of them. Season down right at the back of the standings. Both have a chance still to avenge themselves next season through the pre-qualifiers and into the main qualifiers along with these teams. Means the top two from the B League and possibly some of the teams from the pre-qualifiers as well. So, as I said, thank you everyone for watching the McDolphin Team Cup in 2022. Have you thoroughly enjoyed the season? I certainly have. And... Make sure to join us in not too distant future for the 2023 McDolphin Team Cup. Thank you and goodbye.